قالوا إنها وعد نحن عصبة الأسد What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel Today I'm here in Gunjur Sifo inside Gambia's futuristic city Nine months ago, I made a mini documentary about Tuff, the developer of this city. Right now, as I am making this video, he is building a smart city in the Gambia. Quite and today, I had the chance to visit the city. I must say, it is actually the first of its kind in the Gambia. This project will take 20 years to complete. Once completed, the city will include over 5,000 homes, a commercial area with a standard mall, an administrative block for government institutions and offices, a petrol station, a fire station, a police station, a hospital, and schools, junior, senior, and tertiary. That comes with student housing. I don't want to bore you with a list of facilities. All I'm trying to say is, it is huge. The drone shots and the miniature designs may make it appear small, but to give you an idea of how big this place is, Think of Banjul. This city is twice the size of Banjul. In Banjul, you have the craft market, the hospital, the state house, schools, sports centers, restaurants, and then you have the residential areas like Perseverance, Lancaster, Tobacco Road, and all these different neighborhoods. In Taf City, you have gated communities like Bena, Bidi, Saba, Baki, and others. When you are a resident of this city, you really don't have to leave the four corners of the city if you don't want to. Of course, you'll have to leave your estate to go to the market, go to the masjid, go to the university, go to work, play, but the city itself, you really have no reason to leave except when you want to visit your relatives in Banjul or Serekunda. As I mentioned earlier, this project will take 20 years to complete. So the majority of the facilities I mentioned will be added later because why build a mall when there are no people? Does it make sense, does it? But so far, it's been a year and a few months in and there has been a significant progress. The Bena estate is already ready and it is sold out. The Didi estate, not yet, but it is also sold out. So what I'll do today is take you through the Bena estate, show you the different houses, and show you the showroom. So let's get started. This is the Bena estate. This estate is aesthetically pleasing. From the symmetry, colors, the landscaping, beautiful designs to the lush flowers, you can tell that it was designed with sustainability and energy efficiency in mind. This estate has everything that you need to live an eco-friendly lifestyle. Walking along the interlocked pavements, I was just admiring the architecture around me. Just imagine it, man. The peace and tranquility that comes with living in an eco-friendly city. I don't know about you, but when I gather enough coins, I am definitely buying a property here. That is if it's not sold out before then. But inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> Let's take a look at the prices on the various houses. There's like 14 different house designs, but we'll only highlight like six of them.
I've shown you an overview of the city and the first estate, let's go inside and take a look at the interior and everything. This house features a dining area, a kitchen, two bathrooms and a nicely designed interior that has a modern and a stylish feel to it. It has everything that one needs in a home, from the spacious living area to the cozy bedrooms. Now let's see what the backyard looks like. Here we are, you have a spacious backyard with plenty of room for outdoor activities like barbecues, parties and get togethers. This backyard is sure to make any gathering a memorable one. With this lush green grass, all you have to do is add beautiful plants, a beautiful decor and get to experience true tranquility.
concludes the tour of Gambia's first eco-smart city. Because of this development, I have a feeling that in 20 years time, this Gunjursifo area will be a major industrial hub of the country with major developments in infrastructure. This region is going to be the heartbeat of the country in 20 years time. Trust me. But yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be notified. Shukran so much for watching. Peace.